Thanks for joining us on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Center. So let's talk West Scranton Invaders Baseball. Skip Roskus joining us right now. Well, uh, Coach, a uh, real nice start for your team. And uh, you guys are winning some uh, some ball games by a few runs, and then you're winning some tight ones. But uh, nonetheless, uh, you guys are getting some Ws. Yeah, that's the important thing. Uh, we're getting good pitching. We're getting pretty consistent defense and uh, some timely hitting. So uh, we're getting them in all different kinds of ways. But uh, – Today was today was a nice one, um, extra innings, and you know it was nice to get another win against Abington. Let's talk about the the pitching that you have uh, this year. Tell us about some of those arms and uh, Cole Stetzer is obviously one of those guys that you lean on. He's a junior with a, a big commitment he has for his future. Um, but uh, there's uh, additional guys in there. Are, are they all righties? You have any southpaws in there? Uh, yeah, every, everybody we're using so far is right hander. Uh, you know, obviously. Calls our horse. Um, he'll have the ball in game three against Abington, just like he had the ball in the game three of the series against Scranton. Um, Cam Colger, senior, has been huge for us. Two league starts. Um, he's only given up two runs. And a couple sophomores really contributing. Uh, Thomas Ivanoff and Shane Merrifield really kicking in. And then we got a few other guys we're looking at out of the bullpen. That can help us when we need to. Uh, Griffin Larrero is an outfielder, also can pitch for us. He's a junior. And so is Jack Beckwith, who uh, DHs for us some. We'll put him behind the plate a little bit, but uh, we're also looking for big things out of him, out of the bullpen. Coach, it seems like uh, you got a culture there at West Grant that the guys, these guys are loving baseball, and uh, right now that confidence just keeps growing every game. Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, we, we've got a group of kids that – has been together for a while. Uh, many of the, the upperclassmen grew up together, playing against each other, playing with each other in different brands of baseball. And, uh, you know, you're right, John. At this point, um, you know, we've got a little bit of momentum in the different types of games and different types of situations we've been in. Everybody's contributing, whether it's offensively, defensively, pitching, base running. And, uh, you know, it's, it's fun to be around the team every day right now. Coaches League, uh, as always, uh, highly competitive. Uh, how are you guys doing with the, the format that uh, has been instituted in the Lackawanna League and then teams have gotten used to it now? And uh, interesting getting uh, those few games in uh, against the same team. I love it, John. Uh, you know, every level of college baseball plays three or four game series. Uh, obviously, in, in the minors and the majors, they play, you know, usually three and four game series as well. I think it it adds a strategic measure to to coaching i think uh an interesting part from the player standpoint i think kids learn a little bit about each other about their opponents and about themselves over the course of a three-game series so they've got to make adjustments and uh it's extremely interesting for me i like playing the same team three games in a row um i know that there is a there are a number of players in our program right now that like this i hope it's something that the administrators in the uh, Lackawanna League stick with because I think it's something that on a bigger scale is going to make our kids better baseball players. It's going to give more younger players more of an opportunity to get into games and show their coaching staffs what they can do. And when you're only playing twice a week, uh, that those opportunities aren't always there, especially if you're able to lean on one or two horses. Um, you know, and games are only one nothing or two one final scores you know there's not much of an opportunity for players to to show what they've got against a guy that that maybe is more hittable than than some of the great pitchers that have come out of Lackawanna League Division One over the last few years it really has been a pitching dominated division and you know hey that's no knock to to anybody I mean that that's obviously you know everybody would love to be in the situation where they could throw up great guys like you know Ferguson from Valley View who's at uh, Hartford now and Shazik from Abington who's at Monmouth now and, and guys that did really well but you know when a when a sophomore outfielder gets an opportunity to hit against a, a sophomore who might not be an established starter yet well then he's got a little bit of a chance and uh, you know he's not going to get that chance if if his team's only playing on Mondays and Thursdays um, but when, when you play three games in four days, those opportunities are sometimes there for kids. And uh, I think it's overall, it's much better for baseball. And, 
it mirrors what goes on in, in some of our small college programs around here. You, you see the scores in, you know, games when, when a lot of our small colleges play other teams on Fridays, well, they're usually pitching duels because everybody's throwing their number one. But by the time you get to game two of a Saturday doubleheader, which is game three of a three-game set, well, the scores are a little bit bigger and, and, you know, guys are doing different things. So you're seeing different types of baseball games and more pitchers are getting opportunities and more players are getting opportunities. So I really like it and I hope they stick with it. Skip Rosk is talking to us from West Scranton as we talk about the Invaders who uh, compete in Quad A for District 2 this year and right now doing a great job being atop of the the standings. Of course, uh, tied right now with uh, Delaware Valley. Uh, Nonetheless, uh, Coach, uh, let's go up and down this lineup a little bit. Let's talk about the hitters that you have this year. A little bit of long ball or are you guys just kind of uh, putting the bat on the the ball and, and getting some strokes? Um, we have not hit a home run yet. Uh, Matt Gall, I think, had two triples a couple weeks ago. Um, Matt hits at the top of our order, plays center field for us, can also pitch for us out of the bullpen, and he's hitting for average right now. He's, he's really hitting everything off the barrel of the bat. Uh, Cam Colger is number two, our number two hitter, plays infield. You know, we already talked about his pitching. He can do a lot. Um, our three hitter is Cole Stetzer. You know, everybody knows the weapon he is. I think he's been intentionally walked maybe, you know, three times in the last two games. Um, Chief Thomas, our first baseman, uh, does an excellent job for us. Uh, are probably the guy for us that's making the most consistent contact and driving the ball. Griffin Larrero is our left fielder. He hits in the five spot, uh, does a great job. Uh, our six hitter, catcher Brandon Muda, had a big game-winning RBI in the top of the 10th today against Abington. Our seven hitter Shane Merrifield, extremely solid on defense, great pitching out of the bullpen and his hitting's really coming around the last few days in practice and uh, he hit some balls really hard today. Our eight hole hitter could be, sometimes it's uh, Noah Warsnick, sophomore third baseman for us. Could also be Jack Beckwith, our junior DH Um, and out of the nine hole we've got uh, Nick Joy, a freshman who's starting for us in right field and uh Nick's had some big hits in the last few games as well. Everybody getting into the act there at West Granton and a, a nice team event. And Coach, I know you're really proud of this group, and uh, you're hoping this momentum will carry over into the month of May, and, and you guys will be there uh, when it counts for the playoffs. Yeah, you know, we're listen, we're, we're taking it one game at a time. Sure, the playoffs are down the road, and but, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Skip Roskis from the West Granton Invaders baseball program. I want to thank you for your time and uh, continued success. John, thank you very much. Thanks for everything you and Aaron do for uh, high school sports. Invader Baseball here on the John Mandola Show. We are driven by McCarthy Tire and Automotive Centers.